five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Director Comey, thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. I'm over here. Oh, I'm sorry. over here. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real quick and, okay. and, and try to be succinct. I want to clarify some things that you said. And, and look, I, I don't want to go over everything that everybody's been through today. I mean, it, we've had some great questions here that have, have asked you about you said this, she said that. Uh, Ms. Representative Gowdy made a, a great case of, you know, this is what she said under oath and, and publicly, and yet you, dis you dis dispute that and say, no, this is the case. But look, I, I've got, just got a couple of questions, okay? First of all, did I understand you correctly that your decision, that this decision was made within three and a half hours of, of an interview, and that was all? No, we investigated for a year. You investigated, but you interviewed her for three and a half hours last week and then came to the conclusion. Correct. We interviewed her on Saturday for three and a half hours, the last step in a year-long investigation. Okay. Now, as I understand that Hillary Clinton has, has testified that, that her, the servers that she were, used were always safe and secure, yet you refute that and say, no, that is not the case at all. It, were they ever secure? Were, they, were the servers that she were using, were they ever secure? Well, the challenge security is not binary. It's just degrees of security. It was less secure than one at the State Department, or as I said, even one at a private commercial uh, provider like a Gmail. Well, let me ask you this. She's got staff, and, and she's got people around her. Did they know she was doing this? Did they know that she was using these other devices? Did anybody ever bring it to her attention and say, hey, you, you're not supposed to be doing that? I think a lot of people around uh, the secretary understood she was using a private a personal email set. Then why didn't they say something? Don't they have a responsibility as well? That's an important question that goes to the culture of the State Department uh, that's worth asking. I, I, you know, I mean, look, we all surround ourselves with good people and we depend on them to help us. I don't understand. Should they be held responsible for that, for not bringing that to someone's attention? If I see someone who's breaking, who's not following protocol, is it my responsibility to report them? Yes. Yeah. Well, I Especially certainly. Especially when it comes to security matters, you have an obligation to report a security uh, violation that you may witness, whether it's involving you or one of your coworkers. But this is about. So what somebody, about Brian Pagliano? Did he, did he ever know? Do you know if he knew that she was, she was not following proper protocol here? He helped set it up. He helped set it up. So obviously he knew. Yeah, obviously he knew. That okay, is anything going to be done to him? Any, any prosecution or any discipline? Any? I don't know about discipline, but there's not going to be prosecution of him. Hmm. Will, will, the, will the gentleman yield? I yield. My understanding, Director, is that you offered him immunity. Why did you offer him immunity, and what did you get for it? Yeah, that I have to, I'm not sure what I can talk about in an open setting about that. Well, he's not going to be prosecuted, so. Right, but I, I want to be careful. I'm doing this 24 hours after the investigation closed. I want to be thoughtful, because we're, we're, as you know, big about the law, that I'm following the law uh, about what I disclose about that. So I'll have to get back to you on that one. I don't want to answer that off the cuff. Director call me. I, I am not a lawyer. I'm not a, a, an investigator. I'm a pharmacist. But I'm a citizen. And citizens are upset. I watched with great interest last, earlier this week when you laid out your case. And, and I'm telling you, you laid it out, bam, bam, bam. Here's what she did wrong, 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 wrong. And then all of a sudden you used the word, however. And, and it was like you could hear a gasp throughout the country of people saying, oh, here we go again. Do you regret presenting it in a way like that? No. I, I'm highly, I think I didn't use the word however. I try never to use that uh, in speaking. But uh, I did lay it out, I thought, in the way that made sense and that I hoped was maximum transparency for people. And but I know that's the point. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the point. It didn't make sense. The way you were laying it out, it would have made sense. And the way that the, the questions have been asked here, and, and, and we've made all these points of where, where she was obviously told lies underneath, under oath, that it would have been, OK, we, we finally got one here. Yeah, I think it made sense. I just hope folks go back, uh, maybe with a cup of tea, and open their minds and read my statement again carefully. 
but again, if you disagree, that's okay. But, but, it, but, it, but, but when we just, look, I've only been here 18 months. And, and I'm going to tell you, it, 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 this inside the beltway mentality, peop, no wonder people don't trust us. Well, I, no, yeah. I have no, I don't know who you're talking about. I have no kind of inside the beltway mentality. But this is an example of what I'm talking about here. It, it, it just was as a non-lawyer, as a non-investigator, it would appear to me you have got a hell of a case. Yeah, and I'm telling you we don't, and I hope people will take the time to understand why. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank the gentleman.